This is my Polygon Colossus N9. And over the past year, I've spent thousands of dollars and countless hours upgrading this thing to become what I think is the perfect mountain bike. But according to the internet, this right here is the one bike that's gonna rule them all, a true quiver killer. So did I just waste the last year of my life and thousands of dollars upgrading this bike? I sure hope not, but let's find out. Quiver killer refers to a bike that does so many things well, it replaces the need to own multiple bikes. All right, I'm gonna try something just a little bit different with the unboxing this time, so hopefully this works. Bam! The Polygon Siskiyou T9. Now this bike comes with everything you need to build it, but this is the most important piece in the entire box, because all you gotta do is ring this bell twice right here, and the bike's done. Now all we gotta do is just go ahead and remove those reflectors that are on there, get rid of these lame stickers that are on this bike. Warning, read your owner's manual and always wear a helmet. Thanks. Definitely take the reflectors off those pedals, get rid of that dork disc on the back. Then we're gonna get this bike out in the sunlight. And just like that famous YouTuber always says, you should stare at it. Now this bike is rolling with 29 inch wheels, front and rear, it's got 135 millimeters of travel in the back with that Fox Float X Performance rear shock, which means you get the climb switch on there and a single rebound adjustment, which is really all you need for tuning a rear shock, in my humble opinion. Moving on to the fork, you got the Fox 36 Performance Elite fork, you're gonna get all the adjustments you would need with the high speed and low speed compression, as well as the high speed and low speed rebound adjustments on there. So everything you need on a fork to be able to tune this thing and get it dialed in just right. For the tires on here, you got the Maxxis Asagai 29 by 2.6 up front in the EXO casing. For the rear tire, you also got the Asagai in the 29 by 2.6. I like a rear tire with a little bit less grip and that is a little bit more narrow, so I'll probably be swapping out these tires in the future, but a good set of tires to get you started. Moving on to the brakes on this bike, you got the TRP DHR Evo brakes. Those are premium brakes. You get 180 mil rotors front and rear. Those things are gonna give you plenty of stopping power on the way downhill. For the other little components on here, you got the Entity alloy bars, nice short little stem on there, so nothing you're gonna need to upgrade right away. You got the Trans X dropper, which performs good enough. It'll definitely go up and down as needed. For the saddle on this bike, man, I was so happy that this bike already came with a WTB Volt saddle. That is a saddle that I usually upgrade on my bikes to be able to have definitely way better than other stock saddles I've seen come on the bikes that I've had in the past. Premium drivetrain on this bike as well with the Shimano Dior XT cranks on there, Shimano 32 tooth chain ring, Shimano XT derailleur. It does come with your more basic Dior rear cassette. Uh, the chain on here that doesn't look like an XT chain, but I'm sure it shifts just fine. You got the XT shifter up top, so you got all those extra clicks, up shifting and down shifting. Beautiful paint job with that forest green, a little sparkle there. Got that nice polygon logo going down the down tube. Throwing this bike on the scale, it is a size extra large, so it did come in at just over 37 pounds or 17 kilograms for you that don't weigh in pounds, which isn't light, for a trail bike like this. But there's a couple things you can do right out of the box to get the weight of this bike down, which includes things like getting those tubes out of there since this, since this bike comes all taped up and tubeless ready. I've done that before. I've done a lot of upgrades already to my Polygon N9 over here that I was talking about to get this weight and drop the weight of this bike by like four pounds. So just doing some rough bike to bike math here. I should be able to get that this bike down into like the sub 30 pound range. If you guys wanna learn more about this bike, 
head over to the Polygon website. These reviews are not paid for by Polygon, but they do. the guys at Bikes Online do send me these bikes just to be able to review for you. I always try and keep everything honest. Um, the goal of this channel is not to just sell you guys on bikes. It's really just to give you honest reviews from an average rider like you. So with that in mind, let's point out a couple things on this bike that I don't like and I think I'm going to have to change. The cockpit. Okay, we're talking about the grips, the bars, and the stem. So when I first got into mountain biking, these are things that I would just ride the stock stuff and I mean, it'll work, it'll do, but I'm starting to get pickier with how my bikes are set up and getting your cockpit dialed in just right is so important. So I'll ride it. I'll do a good shakedown ride on this bike um, with the stock setup, but I guarantee you the first things I'm gonna be swapping out are the grips, the bars, and the stem. Future videos I'm gonna have for this bike. You know I'm gonna do an initial shakedown ride test. Actually, before that, I'll probably do a video on how I get my bike set up for the trails, so stay tuned for that video. Then I'll be doing the ultimate shakedown ride test. I'm gonna take this thing out on like some black diamond, basically just the gnarliest trails I can find and just beat the hell out of this bike and see how it rides completely stock. Then from that ride, I'll do some initial upgrades so you guys will see some upgrade videos on this bike and then you know I've got to do a Polygon T9 versus the N9 and see how those bikes compare enduro bike versus trail bike. So if you guys have made it this far, go ahead, hit that subscribe, that bell notification, all the things down there to make sure you guys don't miss those future videos because it's all about getting you guys stoked to go ride and have some fun, people.